is an audio book of interchange english grammar and composition of class 9 chapter 13 scene text part 2 scene text 3 making request and responding to them read the following text and do the activities that follow title an interview with a doctor Here is an interview with Dr. Imran Ansari, a senior pediatrician and um, associate professor at Patan Academy of Health Sciences, Patan Hospital, Lalitpur. Read the interview and learn about the pandemic of avian influenza. A V I A N avian I N F L U E N Z A influenza. Reporter The term bird flu is heard quite frequently these days. Could you please tell us what exactly bird flu is, doctor? Dr. Imran, bird flu is the commonly used term for avian influenza, which is a viral influenza uh which is a viral infection transmitted from bird to bird. Particularly a deadly strain of bird uh bird flu H5N1 continues to spread among poultry in different parts of Asia and Europe. reporter what exactly is as far h5n1 would you mind telling us how it affects humans dr imran not at all technically h5n1 is a highly pathogenic avian influenza hpai virus it's as deadly to most birds as to humans and other mammals that catch the virus from birds although the virus is not easily transmitted in the same ways as as most human flu bugs H5N1 has killed nearly 60% of those infected since the first human case in the late 90s. It is seen transmitted among people like butchers and poultry farm workers who have had exceptionally close contact with the infected poultry. Besides, no effective medicine has so far been discovered. Reporter The spread of this flu seems to be so fast as if it is transmitted by air. I wonder if you could tell us how it spread so far so fast Dr Imran Yes certainly actually the flu virus is not transmitted through respiration most notably the natural carriers of bird flu virus are migratory water fowls like the wild ducks the infection van later spread from wild fowls to domestic ones during 2011 the disease got widely spread in asia Nepal too could not remain away from its dark shadow as its carries are the birds that may flew hundreds of miles in a single day. Uh I think it's not carries. Uh I'll repeat the sentence. Nepal too could not remain away from its dark shadow as its carries are the birds that may uh uh that may uh fly hundreds of miles in a single day. Reporter Could you possibly tell us uh, how human get bird flu, doctor? Dr. Imran, as I told you earlier, humans catch the flu by close contact with birds or bird droppings. Some have been reported to have caught the virus from cleaning or plucking infected birds. Let me make it clear this way. Think of a person with an open wound or cut on their hand handles the infected poultry. he or she can get infected by the virus that gets in his blood through the wound or cut others have been infected after swimming or bathing in water contaminated with the droppings of infected birds people don't catch the virus from eating fully cooked chicken or eggs so far there hasn't been sustained type of human to human spread cases reporter i see would you possibly let us know the common symptoms of the flu in humans doctor Dr Imran good question since the commonly seen symptoms of the influenza are similar to those of seasonal influenza people seem to be rather suspicious and worried fever cough sore throat and muscle aches are the major symptoms yet sometimes there could be diarrhea eye infections and even serious respiratory diseases if these symptoms persist for longer than expected people need to consult a doctor reporter Finally I'd appreciate it if you could tell us what precautions we should take against this fatal pandemic Dr Imran sure we should wash hands thoroughly and frequently for 15 to 20 seconds 
preferably with soap and water. Contact with possibly infected poultry ought to be avoided. If exposed, appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, like disposable gloves, protective clothing, shoes, that can be disinfected and safety goggles strictly be used. Reporter, thank you indeed, doctor, for your time. Dr. Imran, thank you, Mr. Joshi. Show what you know, page number 141. A. Find the words from the interview which are similar in meaning to the following words. Suitable, severe, deadly, poisonous, doubtful, signs, safety, preventive measures in detailed and careful way. B. Find the words from the interview which are opposite in meaning to the following words. Junior, trivial, T-R-I-V-I-A-L, trusting, common, dissimilar, for, inappropriate. C. Solve the following crossword puzzle using the hints given. Across, three, continue to exist. Six, showing that you are grateful. Down, number one, special glasses. Two, containing bacteria, dirt, or other thing that can cause disease. 4. An extremely small organism which causes disease. 5. Causing death. 7. Existing in almost all of an area. Uh, 8. Frequently. D. Answer the following questions. 1. What is bird flu? 2. What is the name of the virus which causes bird flu? 3. How does bird flu transfer? 4. When was, the fir uh, when was bird flu first detected in human beings? 5. Who are most likely to get bird flu? 6. What are the common symptoms of bird flu? 7. What are the precautions against bird flu? Scene text 4, page number 143, making requests and responding to them. Read the following poem and do the activities that follow. Title, The Foolish Fish. Dear mother, said a little fish, is that a worm I see? I'm very hungry and I wish you'd get the worm for me. Sweet innocent, the mother cried and started from her nook. That worm you see in there to hide the sharpness of a hook. As I have heard, the little trout was young and foolish too. And presently he ventured out to learn what might be true. Around about the worm he played with many a longing look. And dear me. To himself, he said, I'm sure there's no hook. I think I'll give one little bite. And that was what he did. And thus he died in hapless plight by not doing as he was bite. Uh, it's written by Anne and Jane Taylor. About the poet, Anne Taylor 30 January 1782 to 20 December 1866 and Jane Taylor 1783 to 1824 English poets and sisters were born in London to Anne Martin Taylor and Isaac Taylor. They wrote the words to many children's songs for which they achieved long-lasting popularity. Jane is particularly attributed to have written the words to Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star in 1806 and that Anne is best remembered as the elder sister and collaborator of Jane. The sisters and their authorship of various works have often been confused in part because the early works were published together. The poem, The Foolish Fish, shows childhood innocence and desire to know and the danger of not following one's elder advice. In this poem, the little fish wishes to know if there is a real worm that he could eat, and the mother replies that it was only covering the hook. Then the little fish wanted to confirm if it was really hiding a hook. As he took a little bite, he got hooked and then died. Show what you know, page number 144. A. Find words from the poem which rhyme with the words given below. C. Wish. Hook. Trout, hide, said, did, plight, P-L-I-G-S-T. B. Find words from the poem that are similar in meaning to the following words. Loving, young insect, sugary, blameless, currently, 
dared, correct, desiring, sorrow, corner. C. Find words from the poem that are opposite in meaning to the following words. Bitter, guilty, smart, false, lived, lucky, doubtful, take, bluntness, finished. D. Match the following uh, match the items in column A with the items in column B. Column A. Sharpness, nook, hook, bite, innocent. Column B. A corner, a bent piece of metal typically barbed and baited for catching fish. The state of being sharp, not guilty of a crime or off offense, an act of biting something in order to eat it. Number E, write T for true and F for false against the following sentences. A, the mother fish was sure that there was, a, there was no hook. B, the baby fish died unfortunately. C, the mother fish was hungry. D, the baby fish wanted to help its mother. E, the baby fish was foolish. F, answer the following question. A. What does the baby fish want the mother fish to do? B. Why was the young trout foolish? C. What message does, uh, does the poem give us? D. Why does the baby fish want to get the worm? E. Did the young fish get the worm? F. Why did, did the young fish die? G. How did the young fish die? Scene text 5. Expressing condolence and sympathy. Read the following message of condolence and do the activities that follow. Arbitrary, O-B-I-T-U-A-R-Y. Late Bir Bahadur Sahi. We are deeply saddened to learn about the sudden, premature, and untimely demise of Mr. Bir Bahadur Shahi, an English teacher at Patan Higher Secondary School, Lalitpur. Late Sahi suffered a massive brain hemorrhage, H-A-E-M-O-R-R-H-A-G-E, he was helpful as well as popular among the students and his colleagues. We extend our heartfelt uh, condolence to his bereaved family, B-E-R-E-A-V-E-D, family, and friends grieving the ir ir irreparable loss, I-R-R-E-P-A-R-A-B-L-E. -E. May the departed soul be at eternal peace with our Heavenly Father. Class 9 student, Patan Higher Secondary School, Lalitpur. Show what you know. A. Find the words which are similar in meaning to the following words or phrases. Unexpected. Death. Dead. Very serious. Friendly. Irreversible. Psych. P-S-Y-C-H-E. Immortal. B. Find the words which are opposite in meaning to the following words or phrases. Tiny. Unhelpful. Unpopular. Reduce. Transient. C. Write T for true and F for false statements. A. Bir Bahadur died in his old age. B. The message of condolence is for his family. C. Bir Bahadur was a very cruel man. D. He was a science teacher. E. He was killed in a bus accident. D. Answer the following questions. A. Where did Bir Bahadur work? B. What was the cause of death? C. Who is the message of uh, condolence for? D. What kind of person was Bir Bahadur? E. Where is the school located?